हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज वेब ऑफ थिंग्स एंड टू पिलर्स ऑफ द वेब इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेक एन ओवरव्यू ऑफ वेब ऑफ थिंग्स एंड देन आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट टू पिलर्स ऑफ द इंटरनेट रिवोल्यूशन एंड द वेब एप्लीकेशन एंड हाउ दे कंटिन्यू टू बी द टू पिलर्स ऑफ वेब ऑफ थिंग्स एंड प्ले इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन बिल्डिंग वेब ऑफ थिंग्स एप्लीकेशन लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन कनेक्टिंग एवरी थिंग टू द इंटरनेट and giving them an ip address is only the first step towards the internet of things that is iot things could then easily exchange data with each other but not necessarily understand what that data means this is what the web protocols like http brought to the internet a universal way to describe images text and other media elements so that the machine could understand each web of things or wot is simply the next stage in this evolution using and adapting web protocols to connect anything in the physical world and give it a presence on the world wide web then let us go to the definition of web of things the web of things is a refinement of internet of things by integrating smart things not only into the internet that is network but into the web architecture that is the application then let us go to the wikipedia definition the web of things is a software architectural style and programming pattern that allows real world objects to be part of the world wide web the web of things provide an application layer that simplifies the creation of internet of things applications composed of multiple devices across different platforms and application domains rather than reinventing completely new standard web of things reuse existing and well known web standard used in programming web for example rest http json semantic web for example json ld microdata etc the real time web example web sockets and the social web example oauth or social networks web of things versus internet of things the key to make the internet of things take off is the web of things the killer application platform or base of the iot the web of things is the next logical step in the iot evolution towards global networks of sensors and actuators enabling new applications and providing new opportunities the web of things explores the layer on the top of connectivity with things and addresses issues such as fast prototyping data integration and interaction with objects because of the web is omnipresent and flexible enough it has become an excellent protocol for interacting with embedded devices and the web of things is a vision where things become seamlessly integrated into the web not just through web based user interface of custom applications but by reusing the architectural principles of the web for interacting with quickly expanding ecosystem of devices or embedded devices that are built into the everyday smart object well accepted and well understood standards and blueprints such as uniform resource identifier uri http then restful api atom syndication format are used to access the functionality of smart object then let us go to the two pillars of the web the protocols html http url and the software web browser and multi layered architecture application servers are the two pillars of the internet revolution and web application the invention of html http url on top of the tcp ip based internet started the internet revolution however it was not until the killer application netscape web browser that the internet revolution symbolized the world wide web really took off the netscape web browser evolved from the earlier mosaic web browser mosaic was also a client of earlier protocols such as file transfer protocol ftp network news transfer protocol nntp and go for but http with html url ruled at the end the application server became the foundation that helped build widely spreading web based application an application server is a software framework or middleware that provides an environment in which applications can run no matter what the applications are or what they do an application server act as a set of components accessible to the software developer through an api defined in the middleware itself the application server is based on the three tier or multi tier software architecture as you can see in the figure 
in tier 1 we have client which has user interface and connectivity to tier 2 the tier 2 has the application server consisting of application logic and database connectivity to the database server in tier 3 the database server has rdbms and data the multi tier architecture is a client server architecture in which presentation the application processing and the data management are logically separate processes which is important for distributed web application java technology develop rapidly in parallel with the web in each and every aspect the java e standard based application architecture is shown in figure which dominates the overall application server market it has presentation logic consisting of java server pages html xml and servlets business logic containing entity and station bins and application services consisting of messaging services and communication messaging has java mail and java message service services include jdbc java database connectivity jndr java naming and directory interface jta java transaction api wlec web logic enterprise connectivity xml extensible markup language communication includes protocols such as tcp ip http ssl rmi and rmi iiop that is rmi over iiop denotes the java remote invocation interface over the internet inter orb protocol iiop which delivers common object request broker architecture orba distributed computing capabilities to the java platform as the two pillars of the web applications and the internet revolution the protocol html http url and the software that is the web browser and the standardized three tiered application server will continue to be the two pillars of the web of things and play an important role in building web of things application as depicted in the figure here you can see we have the hypertext markup language hypertext transfer protocol and universal resource locator as one pillar and web browser multi layered architecture application server as the second pillar and then first the web 1.0 we have internet of documents then web 2.0 internet of multimedia and web 3.0 internet of things and then last we have the web of above that however just as the web applications get more and more sophisticated the html standard evolves and the large number of standards and substandards and APIs that is application programming interface have been created for example Java EE and Java ME platform there is a need to update or augment these standards to fit the specific requirements of WOT IOT applications just like the wireless community has done for the machine type communication MTC so with this we come to the end of this if you like the video press the like button Share with your friends and subscribe to our channel Engineering and Technology for You. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for our future videos on this topic. Then thanks for watching. Have a nice day.